Sarah Ferguson wowed in white this afternoon as she made her first public appearance after admitting to having had Botox and two types of facelift. The Duchess of York, 59, beamed as she arrived at the Street Child afternoon tea at Claridge's this afternoon. Prince Andrew's former wife, who is better known as Fergie, donned a smart white coat over a navy knee-length dress for the occasion, and paired the outfit with patent black heels. It comes after the mother of Princess Beatrice, 31, and Eugenie, 29, came clean about the tweaks that keep her looking youthful ahead of her 60th birthday next week. She confessed to having Botox in the past, but these days prefers two different types of non-surgical facelift with lasers. Fergie beamed as she posed for photographs outside the five-star luxury hotel, before heading inside for the charity event. The former wife of Prince Andrew donned a smart white collared coat with a knee-length navy dress, and black patterned high heels. Her red hair bounced on her shoulders, with a few locks swept back by a hairpin on the back of her head giving her a slight behind. After posing for photographs alongside the hotel's doorman, the royal headed inside for the street child afternoon tea. The event for mothers and daughters is to mark International Day of the Girl and raise funds to provide vulnerable girls around the world with the opportunity of an education. Street Child was formed by a merger of an organization of the same name founded by Tom Danat, son of Lord Danat, former head of the British Army, and Sarah's Children in Crisis organization. The event is held as part of Street Child's Mind the Gap appeal with all public donations made before 4 January being doubled by the UK government. Sarah, who is mother to Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie has kept a low profile recently as she focuses on her charity work. But in a shock move earlier today, the Duchess revealed she has had a lot of cosmetic work done over the years. As well as Botox, the Duchess admitted to having had two types of facelift as well as stem cell therapy. Talking about having Botox a long time ago, she revealed, I really don't like the frozen look. I'm so animated and I like to be myself. I don't like the thought of needles and am very glad if I look well and happy. Sarah admitted she prefers having laser cosmetic procedures, which are pain-free and take just 90 minutes. The Duchess confessed she now opts for an ultimate laser facelift as it's called which is a quick treatment which can be accomplished in a lunch hour. The Duchess of York, also affectionately known as Fergie by the British public, has revealed happiness and passion make her shine. And nothing made her happier than the union between Eugenie and her long-term boyfriend Jack Brooksbank. The emotion she felt on October 12 last year are likely to be matched only in 2020, when her eldest daughter, Princess Beatrice, will also walk down the aisle to marry British property developer Eduardo Mapley Mozzi. But it is not sure whether on that occasion Fergie's skin will glow as much as on Eugenie's big day, as the Duchess revealed that ahead of the event she took advantage of laser treatment to look her best. Above all, it was being joyful for Eugenie that made me look good. But I'd had some laser treatment on my face which helped, too. Fergie opened up on the several procedures she undertook during the years to stave off aging. However, Fergie added, she had made it difficult for her doctor to carry the treatments out, as she can't remain still for too long. Fergie said, I live on jingly jangly nerves. I'm very focused, earnestly intense, but I live at high speed. I don't sit down for long. I'm always saying to Dr. Gabriella, come on, come on, hurry up. I'm the worst patient. Among the treatments undertaken by Fergie there are vitamin injections, organic fillers, a laser facelift and Botox, which she had a long time ago, when there was nothing else available. Princess Beatrice announced her engagement to Eduardo in late September. Buckingham Palace shared the happy news with a statement saying, The Duke and Duchess of York are delighted to announce the engagement of Her Royal Highness Princess Beatrice of York to Mr. Eduardo Mapley Mozzi. Her Royal Highness and Mr. Mapley Mozzi became engaged while away for the weekend in Italy earlier this month. The wedding will take place in 2020. The exact date and location where the wedding is going to take place are yet to be announced. But a royal expert said it is unlikely Beatrice will choose to marry at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, 
where her sister, Lady Gabriella Windsor and Meghan Markle got married in the past months. Speaking to Australian magazine Honey 9, Victoria Arbiter said, St George's Chapel strikes me as the more obvious pick, but after a spate of family nuptials held there in quick succession, one can see why it wouldn't be terribly appealing. There's not a bride on the planet who wants to be compared to the one who went before. Fergie has already shared her happiness over the engagement. In a joint statement with the Duke of York, she said, We are thrilled that Beatrice and Eduardo have got engaged, having watched their relationship develop with pride. We are the lucky parents of a wonderful daughter who has found her love and companion in a completely devoted friend and loyal young man. We send them every good wish for a wonderful family future.